so we got. Last time we were here, uh, uh, last video I did, did this uh, gas pipe here. That's one in. Um, threaded it, connected it, came all the way over, reduced it down to three quarters, put a shutoff valve there, and uh, piped it in with the union right there. This is one of those heaters I uh, I got from that salvage place, man. That's how I learned about. Uh, that, that's how I learned about that place. My client here knows this guy. He's like a block away, and he's got a ton of uh, he's got a ton of these, man. Anyway, she's working like a champ. Anyway, so we also uh, piped in a disconnect, which you know the switch. It's code that way. Anyone ever goes to service it, they can cut it off right there. And shut it off. Anyway, so we ran the pipe all the way over here. What do you think, Uh Threw it on a breaker, that was it. Uh, thing about these factories, man, is uh, thing about these factories working is there's always shit in the way. So we've been driving this forklift around and uh, I may just go up there. And this one's electric. We're actually on the second floor here. I guess it's a lighter duty uh, forklift, but it's a jumpy son of a bitch. So, sorry, I almost killed you a couple times. Anyway, let me show you what we're working on now. Uh, but anyway, take a look at the heater, man. It's uh, it's it's a bad boy. Yeah, she's blowing hot air right on Miss America over there. Uh, yeah. anyway. So, uh, here's what we got going over here. We're putting another heater in. Uh, this is a smaller unit, but uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass. Because um, it's got 120 volt. Uh, is that like zooming up on my face, man? Hmm. Anyway, so they keep your distance from so all. Anyway, uh, so what we have here is uh, we piped in our 120 coming into the unit. That's going to be the switch, the disconnect. I'm going to whip out of that right to my unit. It's going to hang right there. I figure this is a good location because usually there's another one of these in front of it. And uh, this is an uh, aisle way. It's out of the way by that brick wall. I'm going to hang it back there. We're gonna have to vent it out of the roof. I'll show you the vent in a minute, uh, too. Um, I used to have the right size hole saw, but they, you know, they fucking stole it when they stole my van and all my tools. So try cutting the circle with uh, with this. Um, I mean, I got it in there, but it's not real, uh, you know, user friendly when you're trying to cut a tiny little circle. But we got it in there, and then we vented that one. I'll show you that. Uh, so anyway, the, the pipe going out is a 120 volt thermostat. There's not a 12 or 24. So we pipe that all the way over. A uh, little bit of yelling going on. I'm training Justin and uh, I just don't have any patience. Uh, getting out here. And this is the guy that's going to be using the heater. So I asked him where he wanted the thermostat. And uh, I recessed it into here. So it doesn't get knocked off. This is going to act as a uh, shield for it. Anyway, so you're going to have a 120 volt thermostat there. And uh, let me show you the gas pipe all we have to do. What we have is uh, that's the sprinkler line, that's not gas. Back in there, zoom in on it if you can. Anyway, that's inch and a quarter gas pipe. So what I'm going to do. I gotta reduce it all the way down to a uh, half inch by the time it gets to the unit. But I wanna keep uh, keep the capacity there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, interrupt it, come off, uh, put a valve there so I can uh, turn the gas back on. And I'll just keep that valve off as I'm piping this one in. Anyway, cut it off, thread it, put a valve on it, and then come over, just pipe it in. I'll probably reduce it to three quarter coming across and then down to one inch uh, or down to a half inch and uh, and uh, go there. Let me show you this vent. It, I mean, I don't know. I'll show it to you. Whatever. So, uh, it's Friday too, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. 
we weren't here last night till uh, I don't know, seven or eight o'clock. And these guys were working too, man. These road dudes work. They work uh, a lot of hours, I guess. But, uh, the cool thing about it is, uh, these guys, you know, I know I said they're south of the border or whatever, but uh, um, none of them are illegal. So, I mean, OSHA comes in here all the time. Gives me a ton of work, too. Anyway, uh, there's the vent. Not bad with a. Uh, with a uh, with that sawzall, you know, whole saw would have been perfect, but I didn't have one on me. So that just goes through. It's a flat rubber roof, and uh, there's this. Uh, it's called a witch's. It, it's called a witch's hat. You slide it over, and you. Uh, it's got like uh, tape on it. You take the tape off, and man, it marries well. That, that's never gonna leak. Then you put your uh, cap on, and that's about it. Um, Anyway, it's Friday, so I gotta finish this gas pipe up, and uh, then we're gonna get the hell out of here, get paid and get the hell out of here. But uh, yeah, this is great. It's all time and material over here, and uh, you know he just keeps throwing me stuff. So this is uh, it's a great account. I've had him for years. Anyway, that's the guy that's buying. Uh, it's 196,000 square feet. It used to be a uh, dial soap factory and it's been abandoned for about three years and they came in there man the shitheads came in there and uh stole every inch of wire out of it and it's gone and i mean some big stuff i don't know if you guys realize how big 196,000 square feet is but uh it's four different buildings it's on 21 acres it's got between the four buildings, over 25 loading docks. Um, it's got a shipping yard. It's it's gonna be a big project. He's buying the uh, building, so I'm gonna do all the electric, uh, all the air hoses, all the gas ho gas uh, in that place, and uh, that's gonna be one of the biggest jobs I've ever done in my life. And uh, this was all about being in the right place at the right time, you know? I met Jerry, he's a stand-up guy. My business model, I mean, people spend all this money on advertising and, you know, I mean, I spend a little bit on it, but not so much anymore. Um, you know, if you do a good job and don't screw people over, you're gonna get a ton of work, you know, at an honest price, you know? And I'm not giving the work away, I, you know? I make what I make and uh, it's a good living, man, you know? It looks like anything else in life, you know? do a good job, don't screw people, you'll do fine. So that's a little side thing about that, but uh, anyway, alright, happy Friday, you two.